Daisy grows up. Jack and Rose make a big decision. Edith needs cherishing and wants to improve her French. Uh, Green meets his end. Bates mysteriously journeys to York. And things get bizarre at the manor. We'll discuss all that and more today on Up With Downton. I'm Chase. I'm Ashley. And I'm Tanya. And we are here to recap and rehash episode seven. Now, it's important to note that in England, this was kind of the season finale. They had about two months between this episode and the Christmas special, which we get to enjoy next week. Oh, wow. Hurrah. Okay. Hurrah. Huzzah. Yes. <laughs> so, first impressions, guys. What do we think? Well, we have some new characters introduced, um, like uh, Sarah. I guess she was, was she in that last episode? She, we've seen her once before. She yes. was at that political thing. That's yes. right. And um, she's the Miss Bunting, the school teacher. Right. So I'm kind of curious about that. I'm, I, I could see her and Tom getting along because I think they think the same. And he, I think, is more comfortable on the chauffeur level, obviously, than being in the Downton Abbey family. And um, so I'm curious to see where that relationship goes, if anywhere. Um, I kind of like the interaction with that. Yeah. And then the other character was um, the godfather. Mary's godfather. And none of us remembered or wrote down his name. So we're going to refer to him as Lord Farthington. Farthington. <laughs> okay. I don't I know hope, why. I hope that's his name. I really do. He was a very nice This guy. was a good episode to air around Valentine's Day because love was in the air. Not just H-E-I-R. R. But Matthews. Everybody, everybody was falling in love with everybody. Yes, they were. Yeah. So, plus there was a little undercurrent of... Murder. 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 <laughs> it's like so, a Shakespearean play. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, um, and lo always, as always, very good Mar Maggie Smith moments. So, did you catch the uh, one of the funniest lines of the episode? They had the Gillingham and uh, Blake, Charles Blake, were leaving together, and uh, I believe it was Edith and Cora. Edith said, "What's the group noun for? Uh, f you know, for." What's the word I'm looking for Love here? Love triangle? No, for suitors. Oh. And they were like, a desire? A desire of suitors. So a they desire. decided that the group noun for suitors and Robert was... called it a menage. No. <laughs> what sort of menage has this turned into? I love that at the end where they all the <laughs> women Whilst lean in. Away. All the women lean in and watch them. I, I kind of like that playful part when they were leaving earlier in the episode and all the girls were kind of teasing Mary. And I think they're going to challenge each other to a duel. I, something's going to happen. And the blonde guy is gone. He's yeah. not even in the mix anymore. No. He didn't try hard enough. You no, gotta, he didn't. you got to bring it. Yeah. You know, this is a hot competition. It, it's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. Isn't it funny how seasons one through three, Mary, you know, she was just, she couldn't get a date. And now they're just, it's like. Coming she, out of the woodwork. Yeah. Well, now she's, them off. she's, oh, she's the. They get the whole, the whole She's thing the if, if, if they the bell of the ball. The bell of the ball. Well, and speaking of suitors, I mean, what is it with Mrs. Crawley and all these guys that seem to like her and she's oblivious, it seems like? She's still like, no. Like, I, how did she ever marry her husband? I don't like, think she has very high self-esteem. Yeah, that's Honestly, probably true. That one part where she said to Violet, she said, oh, it's just me. And then Violet said, oh, that, gr that greeting belies such low self esteem esteem or something mm -hmm. so yeah well and even when she was talking about when uh, uh, they invite she was inviting her to come and meet with you know the godfather and all that that she was just like oh I don't know about me and you know and it's like well it's better than nothing well, that, <laughs> I was like okay she's probably, yeah well she's the single lady in town the well, distinguished true. older lady but how would he know she's, that he just came into town she's, she's a cute you know, sassy thing. And so <laughs> these widowers are coming around going, there you hey, go. how about giving me a try? Yeah. You know? I think she will eventually end up with the doctor, though. They just it seem like they have a really good report. It was so, so awkward. I love it. He's so awkward. He is awkward. Everyone Give him a break. in that period was very awkward. I feel like, because they're, they're, you know, 
they have all these rules built up around the, the class system and any interaction is based on that, that pretense. And so there's so much, you know, it yeah. would be, I would never leave the house, frankly, if I lived back then. It would just be too stressful. <laughs> too you stressful. know, I wouldn't know, are you the countess or do I call you lady or? Uh, <laughs> Tom, Let's Branson, hey, what's buddy? going on here? There'd what's be a name? lot of buddies and pals. pals. Yeah. Buddies Pal? and pals. Well, let's hey, see. guy. <laughs> <laughs> what about Rose and Jack? That's another episode scene. Oh, man. I love how she's like. Oh, I can't wait to tell my mother uh -huh. get engaged. It's like, yeah, you just revealed your your motives here. She exactly. didn't just say she wanted to tell her mother. She said she wanted to watch her mother's face crumble. Yeah, she told her that was yeah. that had to make him feel confident and, and right. Yeah, yeah. I really did like that. That was one of my favorite scenes. Is between Mary and Jack. I thought that was done really well. Um, you know, he really did love her, and I think he might have known that. It wasn't as strong coming back from Rose, but um, I really liked that end where Mary was like, if we did live in a better world, you know, I'd be okay with I it. would be okay with it. And I mean, I really respected Mary in this episode. Like, I just felt like there was just different, she stepped up a little bit and you see more of who she is and she's not completely old school, even though sometimes she seems old school. I agree, and I think part of it too is she knew Rose was using him. Yeah. I think she did him a favor by I saying, think so. "You don't want to, you don't want to go there." Right. I she agree. Could probably see where it was going. After the initial shock, Rose would probably break it off, and then, you know, he would be left in the dirt. Right. <coughs> and I, I've said this before, but I think the show has done a really good job dealing with the issue of race this season. They've addressed the shortcomings of the era without condoning it. Right. And I think that's been, as a viewer, I've enjoyed seeing that. And I think, you know, they, they've done a really good job with that issue. I agree. Yeah. Diversity is no longer an old wooden ship. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, I will say Jack's American accent. I, I can always tell, and I'm sure people in England can tell when Americans are doing fake British accents. I can always tell when British people are doing fake American accents. Is he British? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why he kind of talks like this sometimes. Like a game show host. Like, or a news anchor. He's really... <laughs> That's <I> how they... <laughs> a little slower to make sure that... Really hitting those vowels hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is the Dowager Countess depressed? Because she had two quotes this episode that really made me worry. <laughs> worry about her she said no life appears rewarding if you think about it too much and then she said toward the end of the episode that life was just a series of uh what was it Disappointment. disappointments and then you die so what's going on with her i Is think she she's a real suitor of her own yeah she needs to, you know live it up a little bit or maybe it's just her age like you know sometimes people that age when they're start realizing that they're closer to death than they you know, were when they obviously were younger. Maybe she's starting to think that way and just like, what's, you know, what's going on? I don't know, with her this episode, I really liked her because she was really aware of what was going on. And I'm like, Cora, are you not aware of what's That's going a, on with your daughter? She's totally oblivious. Yeah, it's and I'm like, she's like, oh, we're having this party. Oh, we're planning the bazaar. Wonderful. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> oh, you would like to go away for four months? Yeah. Sure. Sure. There's Let's gotta go be no reason. That sounds, yeah. sounds perfectly logical. You go have fun. Let's right. go learn some French in Switzerland. Yes. Yeah. Wait. And then the what? dowager knows her daughter Wait, well what? enough to know she's not interested <laughs> in French. Someone tell me what's going on. Like. No. And so, Poor Edith. I know, but I'm, I'm glad Jane the grandmother Brady. is on the, is on her side. Well, she did some detective work, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she put that, okay, we're going to have to go about this the long way. Yes. So. Right. That was, yeah, I, I really liked that episode. The other funny part, it wasn't with Edith, but it was when, um, Farthing, <coughs> is that what we're calling him? Farthing, we're calling him. Fothington. Fothington. And Mrs. Crawley were being introduced, and she was watching them. Like he, oh, he said, "I'll, I'll take you home." And you just see her in the background, like slowly trying to put her cup on the table, but it's kind of almost missing the table. Like, what's going on here? It was really, oh, I kind of like that scene. 
She was just like another detective little moment of like, what's going on? Maybe she is bummed out. Remember when, when she got the flowers and mm -hmm. she gave me some, she's like, yeah, I got some too. They're over there. These are for you. Yeah. <laughs> I know I kept thinking, I'm like, are her flowers bigger? And maybe that's why. But it was just a different arrangement and yeah. they were set off aside. So, yeah. And we've got to talk about uh, Daisy, this episode too. She had a big moment with Alfred. I think this is the episode where Daisy grew up. And I said that at the, mm -hmm. at the top. Uh, yeah. She was originally very heartbroken when he proposed to Ivy. Ivy turned him down. Um, she brings him. She talks with her, kind of her Obi-Wan figure. Yeah. If we can make a Star Wars reference yeah, in a Downton Abbey podcast. <laughs> But uh, she goes to see her, and this happens about once a season, she goes to her father-in-law, uh, the farmer, William's father, and he kind of sets her straight. He says, mm -hmm. you know what? Be buddies. Don't leave him on a bad note. Right. So. Yeah. And he had a handy gift, 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 gift gasket? No, a gift bit? basket. Excuse me. Well, and in this episode, Daisy gets a father and a mother, if you think about it, because Mason's being, uh, Mr. Mason's being a father to her. And then look at you remembering his name. I know, and um, and then Mrs. Uh, Patmore even says, "If I were your mother," and so it's like she got parenting, you know, help in this episode. And that was I like I really liked that episode or that scene where Mrs. Patmore came and you know said, "I'm really proud of you, Daisy." So that's resolved. So yes. I'm sure we'll be Ivy. We'll get rid of Ivy here soon because her. Her character's kind of <laughs> really don't really need it now, do you think we? So, yeah, she and she and uh, Daisy. She kind of was introduced as, as a, you know, a foil, a foil to Daisy. She really was. I wonder what they're going to do with her in the finale next week. I'll be yeah. curious. Oh. Right. Um, or they may not do anything. They I don't may know. not. Um, or Alfred is Alfred really going? You never I, know. I don't know. I'm I kind didn't of like that Alfred. at the end where he's kind of like, yeah, Ivy. I kind of got it now. She was kind of playing me this whole time, so how about you and I? Yeah. So we're running short on time, but I want to talk, before we go, I want to talk about Mr. Green. Yes. And Bates. Green is dead. What? Yes, he meets the front end of a double-decker bus in Piccadilly Circle. I, I don't know for sure I that's a double-decker bus, but when I, when I imagined it, in my head it was a double-decker bus. Yeah, I don't know if they had double-deckers back then. They did, it was actually oh, really? was a scene in London with Edith and there was a double-decker bus oh, in the background. Oh, great, okay, yeah, well, I'm so. glad you did your research. Well, <laughs> I, I assume they did theirs on the show. I know, yes, it, but, <laughs> that's true. Um, so we know that he's dead, he died in traffic, he was, uh, he fell Murdered. off of, you know, off the, the sidewalk. sidewalk. Who does that? Those but, cobblestone streets. I right? Mean, yeah, I'm sure he tripped up on that. I'm sure nobody shoved him. I'm sure in nobody front of did. The bus. But coincidentally, Bates happened to be on an errand that day in doing this New York. and that. No big whoop. Yeah, just, just you know, being super ambiguous about what he was yeah. doing. Yeah. I'm sure there's nothing. He had specific directions. Um, as yeah, because. Yeah. He knew right he, where to go. Right. He asked Mr. Green earlier. He's like, oh, you're in London now. Cool. Where are you live exactly? What are you? You know, he's writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sharpening his knife. Getting his iPad his out. Yes. Bates was getting he's his iPad. On GPS. He was getting yeah. the Maps app yeah. pulled up on there. So Bates did it, right? He was at least involved. Oh, come on. Right? I think so. Mary thinks so, too. Maybe Anna did it. Yeah. She was, she was in Mary. London at the time, wasn't she? No, yeah, but she, she knew. She was grilling him like, so where, where, why were you in London exactly? What were you doing? Oh. Yeah. Just oh, a little I, bit of this and that. Yeah. We'll he was, see he if we have another. He wasn't in London, remember. He was in New York. That's what he told That's her right, about New York. It. We'll see. Not New York. And he was like, no. when, when are they, where are they going? When are they getting back? He was totally plotting the whole, I mean, it, yeah. it was the are most we gonna obvious have to, murder plot. Are we going to have to have t-shirts that say, free Mr. Bates too? I hope not. Like I said there's <laughs> that Twitter that that Twitter handle now that's Mr. Bates Legal Team. <laughs> there you go. So I don't know what that what that means, but so we're kind of all in agreement that Bates is probably he did if he if he didn't push the guy into the street he hired someone to do it right. Right. And I'm kind of on Mary's side. I'm like, oh. yeah, I'm too. I mean, yeah. But I'm Gillingham. So did he come? He looked genuinely disturbed by the whole thing when yeah. he came back at the mm -hmm. end. 
And, um, I mean, what's he going to do with, about it? I no, mean, nothing. He didn't like the guy in the first place. Yeah, he knew he was d into He just some acted shady. weird. Like, you know, he, did he use it as an excuse just to come see Mary? Or there was just something strange about his, the way he was acting at that picnic. I think maybe, in my opinion, I was thinking maybe he was like, is there something I need to be concerned about regarding you, Mary? Okay. Because he's now dead, and you just mentioned to me, you know, that I should get rid of him. Like, I think he, it's like a concern for Mary of, like, has something happened, you know, and maybe thinking it was towards Mary. But I don't know. They don't really say. To be continued. Wow. Yes. So, you know, we like to end the show on a fun question. And, you know, this is kind of more of a thoughtful question than kind of silly. But... Uh, earlier in the episode, Lord Farthington said he wanted to study medicine, but was told that was not acceptable for a peer. Um, so I, I kind of got me thinking, you know, what would, and, and I also saw a trailer for some new movie that has Lady Mary in it, and she plays a flight attendant. And <laughs> it kind of got me wondering what would, what would our friends at Downton be doing if they were, you know, if it were present day, what would their occupations be, do we think? So you guys think on that for a second. And I'm going to remind our listeners to like us on Facebook at OETAOK. -okay. Follow us on Twitter at OETAOK. -okay. We're also on Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and check out OETA.TV. Um, I'm kind of stumped. You're kind of stumped? You, you didn't prepare us for this one. I'm kind of stumped. What did, what did you come up with? I think they'd have their own reality show, the upstairs and the downstairs. I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, know anybody that, can get one of those now, you know. I don't know if it, that they would even be at the house still. The house would probably have gone by the wayside. I, I mean, I think Mary, you know, she's really demonstrated her business acumen this season. I think Prime she would minister. probably. Prime minister. Prime minister. Wow. Wow. I, don't I was know. thinking like Shades CEO. Of or. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and ba uh, not Bates, uh, Branson, I think would definitely be in politics or, or law. You know, he's, he's very politically minded. He's getting interesting too. Yeah. Because him, Mrs. Crawley's his little buddy. Yeah. They're a little. Very mm -hmm. interesting. They're kind of two birds of a feather. They are. They yeah. really are. I, I like that. I like that. Pairing. And speaking of pairings, we might end on this note. Mosley and Baxter? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What? I was going to bring that up. Yeah. I think it's real interesting. She kind of reveals some stuff about herself without us still knowing her life. But she was like, no, I, was, I didn't have a good time in London. Like, what happened in London? But, yeah, I think that's an interesting match, Mosley and Baxter. I'd be curious to see how that plays out if it does. Well, guys, next week is the finale i think we may have a very special guest on the show next week uh, yep so be sure to tune It'll in there yeah this has been up with downton i'm chase ashley tanya and we'll see you next week